So the list price is almost $2,000 in the United States. Why is it $8 in Australia? Um, so let's, let's get down to, the, to the, you know, the core of this hearing. Truvada, uh, Dr. Grant, Truvada for PrEP is the only known drug that can prevent the transmission of HIV, correct? It's the only medication that's been approved by the FDA. Is it also true that Gilead relied, publicly, relied on publicly funded trials to obtain FDA approval? Yes. If you look at their supplementary new drug application, you'll see that every sponsor of um, uh, Truvada as PrEP uh, was a, a non-Gilead sponsor. And even when it comes to when folks can't access PrEP because it's so expensive and we spread, you know, the HIV epidemic continues, that also comes at a public cost, right? So, so the public is paying, we paid to develop PrEP, we paid to finance the publicly funded trials to develop this drug, uh, we also pay and foot the bill with patient assistance programs, also, the, as you noted, the existence of these, existence of these programs happened because of the public, and also we pay when the HIV epidemic gets spread as well. So I remember the first time I learned about PrEP, what PrEP was, what, you know, how it functions, who uses it, how people get it. It was uh, from one of my homosexual friends up here in NYC, and he was just telling me about how it works. And I was like, what? Like, they have something that literally, like, 99.9999999999% prevents people from catching the HIV virus. And you really got to think, you know, we all know that there's more money in treating illnesses than curing them. But HIV is one of those things that, you know, if you get that, that's pretty much lights out if you don't have a lot of money, you know, just in terms of what it does to the body. The, 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 the tragedies that, that the AIDS virus has done to people, what people have gone through, you know, from the 80s until now, you know, we've gotten it a little bit under the wraps. It's relatively, uh, you know, it's not like it's spread everywhere, but it's still something that if you get, you can't get rid of it. And the fact that we have a medication that prevents people from catching HIV means that we practically can get rid of the virus if we have enough patience. But of course, money. Very quickly, Mr. O'Day, you're the CEO of Gilead. Um, is it true that Gilead made $3 billion in profits from the sales of Truvada in 2018? Uh, $3 billion in revenue. Oh, yes, in revenue. Thank you. And very quickly, uh, the current list price is $2,000 a month in the United States, correct? The current list price is 1780 in the United okay. States. And, and just to correct, the $3 billion was a global figure okay. uh, for, uh, for Truvada. Uh, for prep so, it, so the list price is almost $2,000 in the United States. Why is it $8 in Australia? Uh, Truvada still has patent protection in the United States, and in the rest of the world it is generic. It's important that we notice here that we the public, we the people, developed this drug, we paid for this drug, we led and developed all of the grounding patents to create PrEP, and then that patent has been privatized, despite the fact that the patent is owned by the public. I mean, think about that. With enough time, if and especially since PrEP was publicly funded for its creation. With enough time, if sexually active people had access to PrEP, over several decades, HIV would practically disappear. That's how it would work. And I, you know, I'll tell you, I just took a medical exam actually for life insurance. So I got, I mean, I, I did blood work and I got, they looked at everything, the health of my liver, kidneys, pancreas, gallbladder, the protein, chemical compositions in my blood, all of that. But the top two things that they were looking for basically was if I have HIV or if I have nicotine in my system, what does that tell you? It tells you that two of the most deadly things that you pretty much can count on is going to take you out of here is tobacco and HIV. And yet PrEP is nearly impossible for people to get. There's no reason this should be $2,000 a month. People are dying because of it. And... And there's no enforceable reason for it. We own the intellectual, the core intellectual property for it. And as a result, uh, people's, people are, are dying for no reason, for no reason. I mean, I work in politics. I, I research society for a living, basically. And I didn't know about prep until a year ago. You know, that just goes to show how under the wraps it is. But again, something this effective you know, I, I guess since HIV is still something, especially from the public perception, that's, you know, the gay disease, the, the, it's still kind of seen that way as something that only impacts the LGBTQ community. But we know that this is something that can impact anybody.
And so the fact that we have prevention methods, you know, what we did to all these other illnesses, because we took these prevention methods, there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't be doing the same thing with PrEP to help get rid of the horrible virus of HIV. So I'm glad the ALC, you know, brought attention to this. Um, that's why I'm doing the same. And I think that all of us should rally to get PrEP more accessible to people.